Well, hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, the Bayamente Itu Iyo. And today we are going to do a budgeting cash day for my last closeout for the month of April. Yeah, April. Wow. We have already made it to May. That's crazy. Anyway, what I need to do is actually budget out some of my book sales money as well as some money that I cashed out on Etsy and wrap up this month with the final budget and cash stuff. And even though we had some hiccups, I think we're going to be all fine. So let's get off into budgeting for cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenges, and even pay a bill that is unexpected. If that sounds like something that interests you, let's get right into the video. All right, to begin with, we're going to use the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner 2nd Edition. This book can be found um, down below in my Amazon storefront if you're interested in buying the physical book. But if you would like to down, down, if you would like to digitally download the pages, then you can head down below to my Etsy storefront where you can actually purchase the pages there. This book does come with four savings challenges as well, which one of which we will be working on today. Um, as well as budgeting pages for the month and the week. This is for weekly budgeters. I do have some other planners that are for bi-weekly budgeters, semi-monthly, monthly. I also have some savings challenge planners that are all sold on Etsy and Amazon. I'll link a playlist up here. So if you're interested in getting a different type of planner that works better with your budget style, then you can check it out there, page by page flip through. All right, let's go ahead and move forward with the budget. I already pre-planned, but we will turn to the month so that we can review what it is I'm doing. All right, this is for, excuse me. Okay, <laughs> this is for the month of April. Um, let's see. I had $324 that I cashed out of Etsy. I also have um, book sales money that I cashed out. And I did take some of it out just to even out things and left some in the bank. And I'll explain that to you in a little bit. My book sales was a little over $1,700. Um, but we're going to go ahead and flip to the budget for this time. And then I'll explain to you what I actually did. All right, so I decided for book sales, I was going to budget $14.58. The extra I left as a buffer in my account, everything over and above that for my book sales money. And it does come in as a lot of separate little deposits from all different countries. So thank you guys, all my international viewers. Shout out to y'all. Y'all be shopping my books too, and I see it every single month. Also from Etsy, the 324, and that came to 1782. I tried to keep it as a round number so I could pull out a round number from the bank, okay? Health insurance, I do have to pay, which was $1,142, and that'll leave $640 left. Um, I'm going to put some in some cash envelopes because we've already spent up what I did the other day. And then I'm going to put some towards some sinking funds. Some will be left off for this month closeout, but that's okay. And then I'll put some towards savings challenges, and that will be everything. Okay, now, let me know. What do you guys think about these nails? These are Kiss Press-On Nails. Okay, so I decided not to go the acrylic route or... Not even acrylic. I was getting SNS gel, but I decided not to go that route because I thought I do have a few days at the hospital this week. Number one. Number two, I've been thinking about a different nursing position and I might have to interview for that. Um, so yeah, that's some other changes that are in the works. And yeah, I, I just didn't want to have to have issues with that as well. So they're press-ons for now. And I really like these, maybe because they're so long, they're so dramatic. They're like, so, you know, extra, but they really look natural, like right flush against the cuticle. They're just really pretty. You can see the bruise on that nail I have still, but yeah, just really pretty. I love these. Um, I'll try to link down below the product. No, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. If you guys are interested, head over to my Instagram account. I'll put it here. And there's a picture of these nails with the actual packaging listed in that reel that I posted. So you can check them out there if that's something you're interested in. All right, let's get started. Let's see. Let me set everything up. Oh, before we set everything up, let's talk about, let's talk about the budgeting besties bingo. Okay, so as you can see here, Becky's budget journey was supposed to pull on 427. And from what I understood and from what people reached out to me on Instagram and said she never pulled, look, I can't be all the way upset because there are some times that I don't be following through like a couple of lives I was supposed to be doing for members. Like there's some things that I don't always follow through with either. Life happens, right? So we're going to skip Becky's budgeting journey. I don't know if we'll revisit her the next go round, but for right now, we're going to skip her and we're moving on to budget paparazzi who will be picking today let me put her name on the screen head over here budget paparazzi 
we know for sure she's gonna draw and you guys can head over there because by the time this video goes out i'm sure her pick will be out it's not out yet and we will go ahead and move forward taking out becky's budget journey okay next in between next up will be rose budget life which i need to put her channel i'll link it down below she will be picking on may the 4th so let me put her name up here as well rose budget life may the 4th and then we're going to move on to home spa beauty on may 7th and priscilla taylor on may 17th hopefully there shouldn't be any more hiccups in our little game but you know you guys you know how life be going okay life be life and sometimes who knows what happened with becky becky are you there okay all right we're moving on <laughs> All right, as you can see, I already pulled the cash out. So let me count that up and we'll get started with some cash envelopes. I want the plan on the table, but y'all know it just be knocking me. And anyway, this should be $640 because that's the total amount minus the health insurance. There's one, two, three, 54, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 96, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh-oh, how'd that get like that? 30, 35, 40. $640 and I might need some change because I don't think I have t a need for three 100s, but I went to the bank. I was just trying to get as many bills as I could and hopefully make it all work. All right, so let's see, let's move it over here. Let's start with Phineas and Fe Wait a minute, what's going on with little Phineas? I didn't turn, the turn her over. Okay, let's start with Phineas and Fiona and my cash wallet. Let's see. I do have some coins because I did spend some money over the weekend. We had so much fun at Andretti's. Y'all, Jace, <laughs> I posted some on um, on Instagram. I also met up with Janae, posted her over there. If you guys didn't see it, I'm sorry. Follow me over there because I'll be giving like live updates over there. These nails, I'm telling you, I, I couldn't go to work with these anyway because I can't do anything with them. They so long. I love the shape and everything. I love the length. Like, if I was dramatic, I would have these all the time, but she can't. She got to go to work. And anyway, they're hard to function with. So, you know, short bursts, love them. Can't say I don't. Can't say I don't. Anyway, we, um, I did a dance machine dance, and I was doing that, and I thought I was getting it, and then I posted on Instagram, and I saw what I looked like, and I was like, oh, I really thought I was popping. <laughs> I thought it was really jamming, y'all. It was not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. It was looking pretty average. All right, that's Fiona. Let's go on and get Mr. Phineas. Turn around, pumpkin. Thank you. Um. Oh, no. I dropped a penny. We're going to have to pick that up later. Okay, so this is that on that. And... Okay, there we go. Phineas and Fiona have done their duties and they are retiring. Goodbye. I think I have some money back here. Yeah, I do. Okay, hold on. Next to the table is Big Bertha. Big Bertha. Let me drop it in here so y'all can see what's going on. And a poop. Oh, sorry. And that is my ones and fives challenge. If you don't know, I try to put them to the back of my wallet. I've, sometimes I save the fives, I'm not gonna lie, but I try to put the ones and fives to the back of the wallet. If you see any large bills like this 20, it's because I made change at a different time and took some of the ones and fives out to condense some of the bills. But this is where we're at and we count it up at the end of each quarter. So I'll be counting it up at the end of June. Now's the time for the cash wallet. All right, let's see. For myself, I'm going to put $20. I did buy some stuff from Hobby Lobby, but, you know, I want a little fun money, so we're going to put something in mine. 20 dollars. Kids, I'm going to put another 10 because we already spent that 10 when Jason and his friend hit the gas station before we went to Andretti's. Groceries, I'm going to put 100 um, and I have 50 in here and we bought some stuff for the week, but now I'm thinking I might not have another cash stuffing until another week from now or a little bit more when I get paid from nursing again. Eat out, we're going to put $50 for the same reason to make it until my next budget and cash stuff. Self-care has its money and it will remain. Spending, I'm going to put, oh, I didn't put anything for coffee. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the line. Let's put 10 minimally minimally i need at least this will get me two coffees 
maybe three, because I only get espresso. Gas, I only have five in here. I put $30 in the tank, y'all, gas is going up. Okay, but I'm gonna put 25 more, so we'll have another 30 for a fill up in gas. Okay, right now we're doing good because we just filled up before we did our running around this weekend, but if we need more, we'll have it there. Nails, I spent some of the money on nails to get these fake nails. I had 60 in here and I spent 10, so I'm down to 50 and I'm gonna leave it. We'll see if I still decide what I'm deciding when I'm deciding. Maybe I'll go get a pedicure with this. And nothing's going in deposit and that is all for the cash envelopes. Nice, quick, and sweet. Next up is the sinking funds. All right, we don't have much to do. Um, I didn't highlight either. I'll do that at the end of what we actually accomplished. Janae still has her money in there. Uh, Jace, me, car. What am I doing? Medical? Oh, birthdays. I'm going to put 50. And we had spent all this money on Janae's birthday. So there's literally just an old 10 in there, which will now be 60. Next birthday isn't until August for Jace. So we have some time. That boy be having big dreams though. Okay, medical. I'm going to put 100. There's one, two, 20, 40, 60, 83, 320, 35, 335 now in medical. And I told you next month, I think we're going to take care of a medical bill. So there's that. Uh, let's see. Life happens. Da, da, da. Oh, groceries. Groceries. I was going to put $50. There's nothing in there. We're going to put 20, 40, 50. So just in case we do go over um, with the $100, we'll have some in the sinking fund. Plus, I feel like in the summer, we're going to do some picnics or like barbecues, stuff like that. That's where this extra money can go towards without me stressing about it. Life happens. We're going to put a hundred. So there's 150 and life happens. And I think that is everything. I never got to homeowner association glasses giving. No. Travel, I did because, you know, I traveled this month and I spent way more than what I had budgeted for. So there's that part. But yeah, that's the end of the sinking funds. I think we pretty much hit a lot of our sinking funds. And if the few that we did, I'm okay with out hitting for the month of April, you know? All right. So that means we should have $135 left for savings challenges. There's 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. <gasps> what did I do? Oh, $10 for coffee I took. Okay, that's fine. 125. Child, she'll do anything for the coffee run, okay? We'll do whatever we got to do. All right, so with $135 on deck, I want to do a couple of challenges. The first one will be Monopoly Cash. And I only have, the only small number is 35 or 55. I'm going to put 35 for today. Let me get my little visa vis. And I still have a few of these where you can customize the color of the vinyl as well as um, you pick your own random 12 numbers and then you can customize the title. So if you're interested in getting your hands on one of these, check out my Etsy shop, link down below. But these are so pretty to me. These are like one of my favorite feel. Wait a minute, where's 35? Wait a minute, did I make a 35? 75? Oh, here it is. I was about to say, did I not make one? About to get real upset. Okay, 20, 35. Yeah, I like the feel of these. I like the look of them. That's why I said I want to change out my cash envelopes to some envelopes like these. These are so pretty. They just look fire. And when the money goes in, they're almost like transparent or something. Look, you really can't see that they're so frosted. They feel like super smooth. Yeah, I just like these envelopes. These are my favorite. Anywho, that's my Monopoly cash. You can title yours what you want, but we're all done with this challenge for right now. Let's move on to some scratch-offs. Ted Ale. All right, let's see. What am I doing? What is she doing? Look at my cute envelope. Um, mm. We're going to do this one. Doop, boop, be doop. All right, I think I know what these are, but let's just go ahead and pretend like I don't. Oh my gosh, it's a coffee? You're kidding me. Okay, so for that, since it's a coffee character, I can say five or 15. I'm gonna say five. Let's see what this one is. 
Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. It's $10? I didn't even know that. No, I kind of knew. I could do basic math and, you know, this all added up to 50 plus 5 or 50 plus 15. Which one should I do? Mm, let's add 15. 5, 10, 15. So for the little special character, I only added 5. So that makes 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 55 dollars total for that challenge. And this one is complete. I feel like I want to move this one up one now. Because the pig is also complete. We moving on to the fried chicken. Now this one got some real numbers by itself. And we about to scratch one of them and see what it say. Let's try this one in the middle. Oh, it's the smallest one, 45, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. These scratch-offs of varying dollar amounts are six different envelope types. They can be found down in my Etsy storefront. Um, and so they all have a special character embedded somewhere. When you have that, you save either the lowest or the highest number on that particular scratch off, but they're all different dollar amounts based on your budgets. So for today, we're saving 45 in this one and we completed this one. This one's complete too. Yes, moving on up. All right, we got another scratch off to do and we literally have $30. Ooh, y'all, we moving on to the large scratch off cards. These cards come in 100, 500, 1,000, 2,000. They have quite a bit of skipping doubles that I've been avoiding, but we are about to see what we could do today. Where do you think I should go? Let's go up here next to the 10. Oh! I put on everything I didn't know that was there, but that worked out beautifully. The only thing is, I didn't have a chance to put anything on our quarterly challenge, but you know what, I'll take it. Let me go over here to the savings scratch off challenges envelope. That's what this one says. And we're gonna put in 20, 30. And now between the scratch off large card, we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 2, 250, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 3, 310. All right, $310 for that one so far. We will get to minimally $500, but I've been doubling. We get to skip or double, so we should have over $500. i am interested in seeing what we're going to end up, where we're going to end up, but that is the Scratch Off Challenge. Oh, uh, with that being said, there's no more money in the cash tray. We are all done. If you guys are interested in getting some of these, head to my Etsy store down below. We are all done for today. All right, you guys. That was into April. I tell you, I had some curveballs in April, but you know what? I am grateful for everything that happened. I had a chance to go on a trip to Mexico and take my son on spring break. Um, we went out and did some activities here in the city as well and spent some money. Also, I was able to afford my health insurance that I thought I was going to be done with, but end up having to add it back in. I mean, a lot of things transpired this month and I made it. <laughs> I made it unscathed. Okay. So yay. Yay for me. Um, super excited about the month of April, but I'm even more excited for the month of May. I think this is about to be a money May. Mark my words. Pin it. Pin it at this time right here. This is about to be a money May and I am here for it. Also, I don't know. I told you guys, once I start doing nursing, it kind of sparks in me to want to do other areas of nursing and do more within the field. And so I told you I have like um, some interviews set up for that. So things might be shifting around here, but I'll keep you posted as I know about the changes. I will keep you guys posted as well. For right now, I appreciate you for being here with me. Don't forget, head over to Budget Paparazzi's channel and check out her pool for the Budgeting Besties Bingo because she is on for today. And trust me, I know she's about her business. You guys check out her channel just in general. She is a hoot. And she does a lot of really affordable challenges that are like so cool. So different type of challenges than anything I do on my channel. You guys should check her out. Don't forget tomorrow night we're having a live giveaway at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you're here so you could be a part of that live giveaway. There will be some cash and prizes. Hey you guys, editing Salisa here. So this is my mood ring on the middle finger. But while I was sitting up here editing a post office box my boyfriend brought in from the mailman and it was this. I ordered two mood rings for the giveaway on tomorrow. And I forgot I even ordered them, you guys. My mind be slipping me. But anyway, they almost look similar to mine. 
And um, there's two of them that I'll be doing in the giveaway tomorrow. So make sure you guys are there on the live for a chance to win a mood ring. Oh my God, how exciting. Finally, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe because we're growing over here and I would love to have you as a part of the fam. Hit the like button because it helps to suggest this video to other people who might need this information. And lastly, share this video with someone if you think they need to see a little bit of inspiration of saving little amounts that add up to greatness. And I think that's everything for today, you guys. I appreciate you for being here with me on the short and sweet budget and cash stuff, April closeout. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.